The body may die, but never the soul, which is merely passed on. Souls flow onward, born and reborn, forever part of the great ether stream. Why friends make grave here? Can we not take Biggie Pond home to village? He'd want to be buried where he fell. It is traditional amongst mercenaries. I'm so sorry, Fanta. If only I hadn't listened to those people, you'd still be... I'm sorry. It's not your fault. No matter what, those guys would have tracked us down eventually. What matters is that Vandom saved all our lives. For now, let's just be grateful to him for that. <laughs> You're right. I won't forget your words, Vandam, ever. I'll fight my own war with Pyra. Pyra? Yes. Good. I was worried that you might not. Wake up. Pyra. You know I've got to ask. That thing that happened yesterday. You called yourself Mithra? What? I... I am... Um... I'd like to hear that too. That power, it wasn't normal. Is that the true power of the Aegis? I think you owe us an explanation. It was pretty crazy. Tora want to know too. Pyra was super strong. Why so strong, huh? No, no, don't pressure the girl. Well, uh, the thing is, I mean, Pyra? Why? Huh? Why did you wake me up? Huh? What? I didn't want to wake up. I didn't want to come back. I left everything to her so I'd never have to use that power again. But then you woke me up. W woke you up? If you hadn't been so useless, none of this would have happened. I wouldn't have had to use this power. Didn't you listen to that Van Damme guy? He told you to hold back. He told you to run. But you just had to push yourself, idiot. Look where it's got us now. You. You really messed up. You don't have to tell me that. I know, all right. I knew I was being an idiot. Rex. But I just... I couldn't hand you over to them. I wanted to keep you safe. Uh, what? Uh, at any rate, if you've got questions, you can ask her. I'm out of here. Bye. Uh, that's not fair. Everyone, I'm very sorry about all that.
Malos and I are Aegises. Blades born with a terrible power, strong enough to destroy the world. Malos is another Aegis. Long ago, there was a man who climbed a world tree, hoping to make it to Elysium and meet his creator. But when he arrived at Elysium, he found it empty. So instead, as proof that he had reached that divine realm, he brought back two core crystals, Malos and me. And once he made it back to Alrest, he awakened Malos. Why he did it, I can't say. For greed, for power, or perhaps... When Malos awakened, he wielded his world-shaking power without restraint. To him, it was natural. He had never known anything else. I was awakened by a driver who was determined to stop Malos's rampage. So Malos and I fought. I fought with all my might and succeeded in defeating Malos. But not without a price. Three great titans fell in the struggle. After the battle, I sealed myself away to ensure that power would never be unleashed again. I took the form you see now and fell into a long slumber. That was 500 years ago. The Aegis War. The man who awakened Mithra was Adam, hero of the lost kingdom of Torna. Adam fought as Mithra's driver to protect the world from Malos. We Titans played our part in that battle too. It is our calling to live alongside humanity after all. Grumps. Adam hid Pyra's sleeping body inside a great ship and sunk her to the cloud sea's floor where none could abuse her power. So that day, that's the ship that we... That's how Pyra and I... I believe it was fate that we met each other. Otherwise, my sister would never have woken up. You call her... Your sister? Mithra and I used to talk together in that dream of Elysium where you met me. We promised that when we were awakened again, we'd go home to the real Elysium. And then we would fulfill our real purpose. And that's defeating Malos again. I'm very sorry about Mithra. She didn't mean all that. You have to understand she came out because she wanted to protect you. She broke her own seal for you. Even used her power as the Aegis. The flame powers I use are just a shadow of her strength. Droplets of excess energy trickling through the seal. Don't worry about it. She was right. This was all my fault. I'm just glad... That you finally managed to open up a little. Also, thank you for protecting everyone, I mean. Protecting? Me? 
Your powers are incredible. I could feel the truth behind the legends. I'm sorry. I... You apologize a lot. You know that. I guess you still feel guilty about the Aegis's power, right? But I don't want you to have to apologize anymore. I hope I can help you move past that. No. I know I can. Rex, I... Power depends on the heart of its wielder. That's what Vandam said. That's why your power is the power to protect. The power to keep everyone safe and smiling. I want to do the same. I'm going to be the kind of driver who can protect you in turn. I promise. Make a girl cry, that's not going to fly. Make a girl smile, you pass the trial. That's the third rule of the Salvager Code. Yeah? Rex, Rex! Can you help Tora with repairing of Puppy, please? Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, yeah. What's for dinner tonight? How does meatball pot ofa sound? Delicious. Mmm, I can't wait. That smile, Rex, never loses his smile. And that's what keeps us all going. Remind you of Adam, don't you think? What's this? Take it, and go to Indol. That dagger's owner will tell you how you can get to Elysium. This is a blade weapon, right? Who's its owner? The man who was once my driver. Your driver? Huh? But then... Coal is a blade. We fought together in the Aegis War. Yes. His real name is Minoth. Blades not get old, though. Why Cole looks so old? Because I'm one of the cursed ones. A flesh eater. <laughs> A flesh eater? A blade who has been fused with human cells. A long time ago... Before the war, some sought to test the limits of Blade's potential. I am a product of their experiments, one of the unlucky ones who was tainted by their folly. Why would ancient people do that? It seems that by combining Blade and human, it is sometimes possible to create Blades with extremely unique powers. But only very rarely. Most experiments were failures. And I was no different. <sighs> I gained nothing at all. And lost my immortality to boot. I likely won't last much longer. Grandpa? Before I go... I want to see where your path ends. That dagger will aid you. Will you do this for me? Of course. Oh, but can I ask you to do something too? Namely? I was wondering... if you could write a play... about Vandam. About Vandam? Yeah. I think... His story could inspire a lot of people. Once I find Elysium, I'll come see you again. Show it to me then? An interesting notion. Perhaps that is the least I can do. Very well. I'll do it. So see you make it back here in one piece. 
understand. Absolutely. You have my word. Now to get intel, we'll need to... Rex! Zuo! Okay, so that one, Zuo. I could never tell the difference between you and Zuo. I just... Yeah, so now I actually know. I'm probably gonna forget next playthrough. Because I'm gonna play this game again. And again. And again. Anyway! Uh, listen, um... Don't worry about us. You just carry on with your own journey. Is what I'd like to say, but could you come back to Garfon and speak with you for a moment first. There's something we need to talk to you about. Something the boss left behind. Something for Van Dam. We'll give you the details once you get back to Garfont. Don't keep us waiting, yeah? Okay, we got the quest Van Dam's Last Wish. And also, we can engage a maximum of three blades now instead of two. So that's cool. I mean... We don't actually have any extra good blades that we can equip right now. Because all of ours are complete trash. Besides, of course, the ones we already have equipped. So there's no real point in us doing that right now. Until we awaken some course crystals. Also, we got a nice deal of exposition. So that's uh, cool. Uh, anyway. Uh. Crap, I don't want to go to Gormot right now. Uh, Garfalot. Mil mercenary HQ with some military that thought... Militiamen, they're... well no, they kind of... I don't even know. They're not soldiers, they're mercenaries there. What will we find? Uh, Rex, good to see you. Yeah, um, hi. Don't look so down. The boss left a message with me to give to you, uh, if anything ever happened to him. Message from Van Damme for me. You don't think he, he knew he'd... maybe, but if you ask me, I don't think he knew. It's just the kind of life us mercenaries live. Uh, you never know which day might turn out to be last. It's not uncommon for us to leave messages like this, just in case. Now listen up, because this is important. Rex, I leave the Garfalt mercenaries in your hands. What? Um, is there anything else? Nope, that's a lot. What? Leave it to me, that's a joke, right? This is no joke, kids. Van Dam through and through. He says what he means, no more, no less. Well, I mean, I wouldn't deny it's simple, but why would he ask me to? The boss thought a lot of you, kid. I think you're, you've are you struck a chord with the rest of us, too. You're not a straightforward guy, with plenty of nerve and resolve, and he gives all hope. I don't think I can really take all the credit uh, for any of that. Maybe not, but there's something about you, kid. Everyone feels it. So tell me, Rex, will you do what the boss asks? Yes. I can't imagine saying no to Van Dam. He's such a nice dude. May he rest in peace. Alright, I'll do it. Strong words, well said. Nothing less than the guy old Van Dam staked soaps in. What, um, I, what exactly would I have to do as the band's leader? You said you don't have any other messages from Van Dam, right? Nope, he's a man of few words. Uh, but of course, you'll have me and Zuo to help you out. To help you out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see myself out. Bye. Okay, but for real though, uh, we couldn't ask you to silently handle all the operations on your own. 
You just stole out the big general orders for now. We can count. You can count on us to take care of the details. Uh, and then I guess we'll see how things go from there. Okay, I guess we can probably handle that. Great. Now let's start by explaining how things work around here. Our little band takes all kinds of assignments. Takes on all kinds of assignments from all across all the rest. Uh, from escort missions to cleaning out monsters, down to gathering materials and sometimes even smaller things. But tell me something, Rex. I get that you... I get the feeling you've got more blades than you know what to do with. I'm, am I wrong? Yeah, common blades, not rare blades, because those are rare. <laughs> uh, if you got blades sitting around doing nothing, you can assign them to carry out missions as part of the band. Uh, it'll be good experience for them, and you'll reap the rewards to boot. Tell you what, I'll be clicker. Um, if you try out, out for yourself, go ahead, choose mission, and try clearing it. So basically, uh, whatever. We now can see the entirety of the menu. This isn't. So yeah, we have everything in the menu unlocked. Anyway, uh, so first mission, we just got just assign some random blades to it. Sure. The more you assign, the better, just because stuff. So yeah, we're just gonna assign some elements to this and just. Let him do it. So yeah, that'll take one minute, so I don't really have anything to talk about, so I'll just cut back to when uh that's over with. To hear the specifics. All friends return safely. So the group is back, so we get 850 gold, about 350 experience, and 50 merc points. And also, uh every time you do a merc mission, uh it can it gives uh blades uh, affinity up. So like their key affinity thing will go up. Also, it counts towards, uh, certain of their, uh, affinity chart things. So, like, if we were to send this dude on another merc mission, uh, it, he would probably have, I guess, more fish collected, more treasure items caught through salvaging, whatever, and, uh, more times use this level 2 special. Uh, for this guy, basically the same thing. Yeah, it, it just gives them affinity, it gives them progress on their um, affinity chart skills. So yeah, that's basically one of the things Merc Missions do. That's what Merc Missions do for your blades, so yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go talk to uh, you. Uh, looks like you completed the mission. Good work, Rex. Even though Rex did nothing! Alright, okay, Merc Group rose to level 1. Number of common blades you can have increased. New Merc Missions available. Yes, there's actually a cap on the amount of common blades you can have. The higher your merc group level, the more you can have, and I believe the maximum level is 5, which increases the amount of common blades you can have to a crap ton. Way more than you'll ever need. Uh, as your, you complete missions, it'll help build our band's reputation. The higher our reputation, the more missions we'll get, and it'll, all it'll, let, it'll let you manage more blades at a time. Uh, sounds like a good thing all around. This time, you set up a mission for me, but how will I find more in the future? Well, let's see, we'll send a few missions uh, your way ourselves. Aside from that, you can ask around town, see if anybody needs help. There are plenty of people out there with troubles that need solving. Might be a good idea for you to go back and see how things are in our gentleman Gourmet too. Uh, right, I'll have to remember that. Oh yeah, one more piece of advice for you. Um, different missions have different requirements. Each blade has strength and weaknesses too. If you pay attention to the makeup of your squad, uh, you might be able to get the job done quicker. Think about everyone's strengths and weaknesses. They get the mission done efficiently. Got it. Sounds like you're getting the idea. For now, you can just uh, complete as many missions as you can. Once you've used to that, we'll see what. You, oh, the crap. I have to take the test even though I'm the leader. Uh, oh, never, whenever. You have blades going spare, don't hesitate to assign them to a bunch of missions. Uh, we aren't going to run out of missions uh, anytime soon. The world is full of uh, folk who need a little mercenary help. Helping people need, so this is what Van Damme devoted his life to. All have to work hard to make this a mercenary band to be proud of. That's Spirit Rex. We're all, all counting on you, so keep it up. And Kablamo! Van Damme's last wish is. Done. Also, I like how like the freaking uh, I guess the freaking picture of that is just his gravestone. It's like his grave gave us the freaking quest, even though it was actually uh, Zuo who gave us the quest. But whatever. 
I reckon the quickest route is back to Argentum, ship to Moor Ardain, then on to the Praetorium. If we're lucky, there'll be a guild ship at the port. Can't say no to a free ride. Let's go and see. It doesn't cost anything? Salvagers can board guild ships for free. I'll negotiate for you guys, too. That would be big help! Okay, so we've become a leader of Garfront Mercenaries. Congratulations! Let's take a moment to go over what you just told us. The works can expect uh, field missions... Field requests for all kinds of missions, uh, usually... Why am I reading to what Tutorial Man has to say? I don't care about Tutorial Man. Screw Tutorial Man, he can go die in a hole. Anyway, uh, so... Basically... Um... There are just a crap ton of these missions. Each one will give you XP. Uh, they also give you, uh... Gold. As well as Merc Points. The more Merc Points you get, which we need 500 to get level 2, will of course increase your Merc... Merc thing level. And then, when you increase the level, uh, you would go to, like, uh, you and Zuo, who only use here, what the heck. Uh, you'll go over here, talk to them, and then they'd let you take out a test, which is just a fight with, um, some random mercenaries. So, yeah, that's basically what that is. Anyway, uh, something funny is, we're supposed to go to, uh, Argentum, however, if we skip travel there, that does not actually count. Instead, uh, we have to, so yeah, if we skip travel here, that doesn't count. We have to go to Uriah, go to Fonsamima, just go here, and then we have to go to the objective from here. So yeah, you can't just skip travel to, uh, Argentum, you have to go take the boat to there, because I guess, technically, uh, skip travel isn't canon, I guess? I don't know. I mean, technically it is, but it also isn't. I don't, I don't really know. Wow, world has many amazing also, we're getting like crap ton of notifications. We got new Merc missions. That's kind of annoying when you first get the thing done because like it just takes forever. Anyway, uh, yeah, we want to go over this way. Chimomo, that's how you pronounce that. Okay, this ship bound for Goldmouth, Goldmouth Argentum. Salvage his right for free? Yes. Okay, we set out now. He doesn't even ask. He doesn't even ask, like, uh... But what about these other people? They don't look like salvagers, and they're freaking it's just fine. It's Rex! Rex come back alive? Rex have many sidekicks now. Quite the little celebrity, aren't we? Well, you know, I've been trading here for a while. Anyway, I'll find us a ride to the Empire. You guys go on ahead to the inn. Sounds good. See you around then. Excuse me, I was just fixing stuff. Uh, so, okay, so, the ships to the Ardanian Empire should be leaving from Goldmoth Flight Deck on the fourth floor. I think there's a reception deck that's there, where I should be able to charter one. How would, why did you say you think? Shouldn't you know that? You've been here for, like, eternity. It's time to get moving. Literally, you've been here for, like, the past 38 years of your life, and you're only 15. How do you, why do you say you think that's there? Also... I said skip travel is probably non-canon, that's one of the reasons why that cut previous cutscene is probably one of the reasons why I would say that, because they're like, whoa, Rex is here, implying that they probably haven't seen him since, uh, he went off with, uh, Nia, um, Malos and Jin, uh, on that one quest to get Aegis lol. Uh, so, yeah, even though we have been back here since then, because, uh, I've been here to, like, buy stuff sometimes. Anyway, I'm just going walking around here, just getting skip travel points. Uh, 
we can't use this, okay. If we had Poppy in the party, we could open that door, but no, we can't right now. Because Poppy's not in the party, because Tora's not in the party. Uh, I'm just gonna discover some skip trail points, because we weren't allowed up here until recently. So yeah, I want all the skip trail points. I'm stuck on a wall, there we go. Just gonna jump down here. And Kablamo, okay. All in one piece. Also over here is some stuff you can do. Come out, come out. You can just grab these uh, collection points here. here. They actually have some good items that are required for making the best uh, item in the game. So yeah. Hey, okay, let's talk to Murmur. Okay, we're just gonna cut a line here. Uh, I'm looking to board a ship headed for Moradain. Have you any spare for you? Not to worry, friend. Plenty of space. You're traveling alone? Uh, roughly six people, I'd say. Meh, 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 that big group. Uh, I offer a special discount for group travel. Let everybody board as much as like for a total of 4,000 gold. I'm a salvager, by the way. Can I travel free? Can I? Uh, remember not realize. How do you not realize? Look at this man. That That's so freaking obvious that he is one. Uh, crap, camera doesn't like me. Uh... I remember not realize in that case I make discount. That comes to 3,000 gold. Wait, so we can't go for free? Then that. Uh, how many saber coming on board? Six, maybe more. How many of them are salvagers? Just me. Which means how many non salvagers? Quite a lot. Then should pay 3,000 gold. Remember, sorry, me big hearted, but have limit to kindness. Uh, it will actually, you actually have to pay this. Uh, if you don't pay, you can't progress in the story, so just pay it. Suffer. Thanks kindly. Let me know when friend's ready to board and we set off ship shape. I didn't not been drive a hard bargain. It was much easier to get a discount in your uh, A discount of free! Not even like a certain position off, it's just like 100% off, yes. Ah uh, well, I should head back to the end and meet up with the others. Anyway, uh... Jump. <laughs> Let's go. Also, you can't open this door either. It requires an insane amount of skill, and we don't even have Poppy in the party, and Poppy doesn't even have the knowledge skills required for that. See, so that's how insane that, like, requirement is for that. Uh, where's the staircase? There it is. I'm going to buy your shop. Ah ha ha, I own his shop now. Right, so it looks like we're heading out tomorrow. Everyone, make sure you're ready by then. Understood. Affirmative. The tea here is lovely. You can find quality goods here from all around, Orrist. You like the place? Yes. If there's time before we leave. I think I'll have another cup later. Mmm. <sighs> Feels so good to rest in a proper inn after a long voyage. Yeah, it's good to be on familiar shores again. in my bed. Wait! Uh... Ah! Get out! Interloper! Monster! Wait a minute, would you? No! You're, you're the one in my room. The guy's room, see? 
I can't believe it. They did it again. I am such an idiot. Hmm. Is this what they call sleepwalking? You were staring. Huh? Pervert. Whoa, 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 whoa! She's certainly exposing an awful lot of skin. Pot, meat kettle. Would you care to explain what that is supposed to mean, my good sir? Have you looked in a mirror recently? Uh... Hi, Pyra. Oh, good morning. Listen, about earlier... I'm sorry about Mithra. She gets very confused when she's just woken up. Uh, I see. It didn't get violent, did it? No, I didn't do anything weird. Not a thing. No, it was more Mithra I was worrying about. Oh, right. <laughs> I guess she did throw a thing or two. Oh, oh no. So that was where that came from. I'm sorry. Did it hurt a lot? No, not at all. Really, I'm fine. Are you sure? Honestly, my head is still a little painful. Ah, to be young again. Indeed, indeed. We need a little romance in our lives, too, eh? Actually, I'm quite all right. Hey, Gion. Yes. I have returned from my assignment, Your Majesty. Welcome back, Morag. You too, Bridget. I'm honored. It is good to see you again, Bridget. You look well, too, Ijean. So this Aegis truly was the genuine article? Indeed. And the boy? From his garments, he appeared to be a young salvager. I would be most interested in meeting him. That can be arranged. We have received reports of an attack on a ship headed for the Praetorium. A transport vessel? Yes, carrying a cargo of core crystals. Core crystals? Torna's work then? Most likely. According to a lucky survivor, the culprit was a masked man. Jin, it must have been him. This is the third time. From what I hear, Urian vessels have also suffered significant damage. My sincere apologies. This is all my fault, Your Majesty. I let that Torna girl off lightly. I should have interrogated her more. 
You set the captive loose because you felt it necessary, did you not? That is enough for me. Besides which, if this really is the doing of that masked man, I doubt he would have been stopped, even by an army 5,000 strong. We have more pressing issues to consider. Such as? The Senate have independently resumed the excavation of Judicium. The pro-war faction, Senator Roderick. The loss of those core crystals must have made them restless. Judicium is a very delicate region. It would be unwise to provoke Uriah. I understand your meaning. If the Senate make any unsavory moves, we can take action. I'm counting on you, dear sister. Uh, raided ships, uh, to Ar the Ardanian Empire, leave him again. Uh, Gold North Flight Deck, it's up on the fourth floor. Great, gotcha. Shall we get moving then? Ardanian Empire sounds so grand, Tora cannot wait to see what it like. Okay, so we got our people back, so... Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'd just like to say... Uh, that previous cutscene... I hate it. Okay, so let me, uh, frickin' explain. So, the part with Morag and, uh, the Emperor of Moradain, Emperor Nile, that's good, that's perfectly fine. Everything before it is garbage. It sets up Mithra to be an awful character who's extremely irritating to even see as a person. But, I swear she's not that bad. Okay. Um, also it's kinda cringe. But that's to be expected, this is anime game. Uh, so yeah, oh, that's yeah. what I just wanted to say quickly about that. Um, yeah. So yeah. Last, I guess, one third of the cutscene good, first two thirds suck. Though, of course, Pyro Dragon T is funny, and I just like that image. Anyway, so next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we go over to this one spot, which, I mean... It's um, an automatic cutscene trigger, so I can't even get close to it without accidentally triggering it. That's how automatic cutscene triggers work. So yeah, next time, we'll walk into that cutscene trigger. And, I guess, go to Morardain or something. I mean, don't quite know why we're going there when we want to go to Endol, but... Whatever, they gotta fill the runtime of this game somehow. So yeah, see you guys then. <laughs> that condescending look. Mr. Pyra? <laughs> he grabs his face. Drill Mark's hat is the best thing in this entire game. <laughs>